Hey, how's it going YouTube? It's Tag97 again. Today we'll be going over one of my own personal firearms and a firearm that I use while in the service. Today we're going over the M9 Beretta. And of course, if you guys are not tracking already, I have an Instagram. Just go down to the description below, go to links, and you find a link directly towards my IG. Just click that and hit that follow button. It's always much appreciated. And I want to thank my subscribers, viewers, and of course my Patreon donors. I love you guys and I appreciate all the hard effort you guys put in to make this channel come alive and we've made it pretty far since we started off and I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart that I love and appreciate you all of you. Trust me, I really do. Okay, so before we get started with the specifications of this firearm in particular, I just want to say something really cool in history. So, the United States military adopted the M9 Beretta in 1985. That's over 30 years ago. You know how crazy that is? And it's still used today in service. That's awesome. Even though that it's being replaced by the SIG, there are still units that still have them that are really beat up and banged up, and yet they still serve the military and they do not fail you. One of very, very reliable firearms I've ever used while in my career and civilian sector in my lifetime. Okay, so now we're going to go over specifications with this firearm. So getting into size. So for you fellows out there that don't know what 8.5 inches are, this overall length of the firearm is eight and a half inches. So now you have something to reference off of. Okay, so moving to the barrel real quick. So if you haven't noticed that the barrel is exposed compared to most handguns that you probably dealt with or ever saw, that most of the time your barrel is covered from the slide. Well, that's the opposite with this one. It's exposed. So if you're shooting this or mag dumping it, you might want to take into consideration not putting your hand on the upper part of this barrel because you may burn your hand, even if you're wearing gloves. And if you're wondering the size of the barrel, it's about almost half the size of the whole firearm length in general. So the barrel length on this M9 Beretta commercial is 4.9 inches. So that is pretty long for a handgun if you think about it. Almost the same length as a 1911, which also the US military also adopted as well way back when. What's cool is Breda has a kit where you can just change the slide, the barrel, and a couple other things to turn your M9 Breda into a 22, which is pretty cool. But the one we're going over today is a 9mm. So this barrel takes a 9mm, and the most recommended grain to use is 115 for this firearm, which is a standard anyway. So just get some nice brass ammo. You don't need anything too fancy if you're just doing target practice. I recommend if you're going to shoot steel, that you do clean the firearm a little bit better so there's not so much corrosion when you go to shoot it next time. So the Breda M9 commercial comes with two 15 round magazines which are steel and very durable and reliable just like the same ones I used while in service. Now if you are in California they do have restrictions. I don't believe they give you the 10 round magazines that you guys need but they do make magazines that are compliant for your state so you're in luck if you live in California and you want the M9 Beretta. I want to go over some features with the M9 Beretta real quick. So right off the bat, the M9 Beretta comes with a ambidextrous safety switch so you can either put on safe, fire from either side, does not matter if you're lefty, righty, whatever your preference is on your shooting. You can also change out your magazine release, pop it out and put it to the left side so if you're a left shooter or a southpaw shooter, you have that ability to do that, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so just a few more features real quick. So you have the ability to attach 550 cord to this loop right here. You attach it there, connect it to your belt loop, and now your firearm is secure to your person. And if it was to fall your holster somehow or something happens, that firearm is secure to you if you tied those knots correctly. If you didn't, then I don't know what to say. You should have went to Boy Scouts or something like that. All right, so normally in the video, this is where I talk about the poundage for trigger pull of the firearm. So with the weapon being cleared, obviously, the poundage for the weapon being cocked back, as you can clearly see, and it's ready to go, it is gonna be 5.50. So that's how much that one's gonna weigh, and when it's not cocked back, it's gonna weigh a heavy 12.35 pounds. So that's pretty heavy trigger, let's be honest. So if you have an accidental slip up somehow and your booger picker somehow rides off the slide from sweat or whatever reason, and you don't mean to negligently discharge, you have somewhat of a safety because it's a little hard trigger to pull. But if it's cocked back, then 
I don't have to tell you, it's gonna probably go off. So the overall weight of this firearm is gonna come in at 2.12 pounds. And if you think about it, you have a metal barrel, a metal slide, and a metal frame. So obviously this firearm is gonna have some weight to it, but it is definitely durable. So it may take some time getting used to that weight, but it is definitely something you may wanna carry as a law enforcement officer or civilian use if that is what you're into. All right, so let's talk about everyone's least favorite subject, the cost. So on Breda's website, the MSRP goes for $675. So there are better deals out there that you can get to, maybe like a mom and pop shop or just surf the web and you might find a deal better. I definitely got mine with a military discount, so I was able to save some money. And obviously no military buying a M9, so basic, right? very boot like let's be honest but it is a very reliable firearm and i would highly recommend it so don't buy the knockoff taurus version i would highly discourage that but this is a very well firearm and i can't argue all right so now that we're done with specifications i want to get into the personal perspective review of this firearm so these are my opinions you can do whatever you want with it so the things I do and do not like about this firearm, I'm gonna talk about the negative stuff because I hate talking about negativity, I really do. So the things I do not like, it's long and heavy. It reminds me when I used to carry my 1911 as my concealed carry, and yes, I did say 1911, I did. A full frame 1911. Another thing is I do not like is that heavy trigger pull, 12 pounds, that's ridiculous. I mean, look how long it takes for me to pop a round off. I mean, that takes forever. I don't like that whatsoever. But that's my own preference. I just don't like that. Okay, so the things I do like. It's an M9 Brella. It was my service pistol, and I have used this multiple times while in training. So the M9 is very reliable, and I love that very much about it. And it's durable. It's metal. And if I was to throw this probably outside my window, and I live on a second floor or two-story house, so... If I was to throw that outside, I'm pretty sure it would still work and it wouldn't have misfired or negligently have discharged. It is a very nice firearm, easy to disassemble, clean, and just put back together. The parts are really easy to change out and everything else about it is really, really simple and it's something you can't really mess up. So to show you real quick how easy this is to disassemble, so I'm going to push this forward. Alright, so that's done. Now I'm going to take out the spring and guide rod. That shot out. And then here we have the barrel and then the slide. And then there you go, your whole firearm is just disassembled. Basically the same thing as like taking apart a Glock. Somewhat the same, not exactly, but I'm just saying how easy it is to take apart. Now the firing pin assembly and all that, getting into the actual guts, then that takes a little bit more time. You need a, a punch and then it's just a whole other disaster to get into. It's not hard, but you need the right tools to do the job. That's all I'm going to say. All right, so the moment you've been waiting for, the shooting compilation. So if you did skip to this part, I recommend you go back to learn some specifications about this firearm if you are interested in buying it. If not, then just keep hitting your skip button and go to your favorite part. So the only thing I kindly ask of you to do is hit that like button and subscribe. It is always appreciated, and I love seeing my subscriber numbers go up. It always makes my day and puts a smile on me. So, without further ado, let's get into the shooting compilation. But just real quick, a little disclaimer. I did wear my old Frac U uniform, basically the same uniform I wore while in service. It is no longer a considered a uniform for garrison as of 2019. But I did take off my patches, my name tapes and everything that would be considered being uniform. And I didn't really match too many things together, like the belt and the boots and all that. I try to not make it a uniform much as possible, even though it is really banged up and has holes. So it would have not been a serviceable uniform technically either, or so it doesn't matter. Just saying, just in case you've not seen my channel before, I am a veteran and I'm not stolen Valor any single way. So without further ado, let's get on to that shooting compilation, all right? I hope you enjoy it.
So as you saw, the M9 Beretta is a very reliable handgun and very accurate at the same time. So highly recommended, definitely TAG 9 approved and obviously United States military approved as well. So if you're interested in getting one, I would highly recommend it. You would not be sorry you bought one. So that's really about it, guys. I got nothing more for you. If you did like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to me. It would always be appreciated. I love you all. Make sure you stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you next week, okay? I'll catch you next time. Thank you.